you rode a bike across Canada in the name of sustainable seafood and ocean wise. Look at you, you're so buff. Yeah, I can't even you're absolutely worthy. This is awesome. Thanks for having me. Great Good to morning. see you. Tell us. So, uh, well, the journey, chefsforoceans.com, 8,700 kilometers, 72 days. It was the most extraordinary thing I've ever done in my life, and I'm back home now, so I'm pretty happy to be with Kate and Max, my wife and son. But. Wow. Can, I would like to high-five you on taking my ice bucket challenge and doing it yes, immediately on you. the road. I thank love that. Thank you for, uh, for doing that. So Sustainable make, tuna. Yeah, so this is Ned tuna, uh, wild Pacific albacore caught off the north coast of Vancouver Island. We canned some tuna over on St. Jean's Cannery in Nanaimo as a bit of an edible business card fundraiser for the, for, the, for the journey, for the initiative. We did 20 events across Canada trying to raise awareness for healthy lakes, oceans, and rivers right. and sustainable seafood. And it was the summer of a lifetime. What can I say? Let's look at some of the pictures as we build the perfect Sh tuna melt. Sure. You're mixing in a little mayo there. We're gonna, uh, you can tell people what's in it, but I want to I show some shots yeah, of you that's, going across that's the country. Yeah, that's Chuck Hughes in Montreal with his chef Danny Smiles at uh, their restaurant called Bremner in, in uh, one of the events we did was just awesome. Danny Smiles, runner-up in Top Chef Canada. A that's years right. Back, right. That's exactly right. And then that's Bob Bloomer. Bob Actually, Bloomer. we did a pop-up in Wells, uh, Wosley, Ontario. It was a pop-up for about 12 people, but it was fantastic. You, you <laughs> ate well while you rode across the of country. Of course, and we I keep did. Going, oh. uh, there's the giant of Michael Smith. Uh, that's Colville Bay oysters in uh, Prince Edward Island. That was awesome. He was such a gracious host. Excellent. And all of these guys recycling with you. Oh, oh hello, kids. Oh, those are my boys. That's Finn on the left, my oldest boy, who was actually on the trip with me as my navigator. He did a great job. We didn't get lost. And then number one there in the middle, Max Bell, oh. my, my youngest, who's just a rock star. They're both rock stars. They're both rock stars. And uh, can you explain what this is? Right here? <laughs> What's this exactly? Oh, uh, that's a shout out to my brother, William, who uh, was actually part of the trip in a huge way. He drove the journey. Uh, but you know, the shoulders are kind of soft in the northern Ontario. Sure, okay. <laughs> explain the tuna melt over here. Chefs okay. for Oceans is where you want to go to keep up on things. Right. What kind of mayo's in here? What uh, a little it be? spicy. Um, spicy uh, chipotle mayo, right. then some cheese, of course. Yes. Uh, we'll put a little um, green goddess dressing uh, What's like in that. a green goddess? Avocado, okay. lots of herbs, Yum. Um, delicious things. So bake. Bake. In, in the magic reveal of the oven. <gasps> Oh, Michelle McDermott. Look I'm at bringing this for you. those. The, <gasps> I'm telling you, this is like the best thing you'll ever eat on a warm but rainy. You know what I love more than a tuna melt? Nothing. Absolutely nothing more than a tuna belt. I this, knew that this, about you. Oh, I love you so much. So Honestly, then it, comfort food, easy to do. Everybody can do it. What is the oven set uh, at? Oven's at 400, but it, you know it really depends on how crispy you want it. Right. Couple keep of, your eye on it. Keep your eye on it just until the tuna melts. How can Boom. people continue to support Chefs for Oceans now that your big journey across the country is over? So it was a fundraising, uh, sorry, it was an awareness journey. Uh, any of the funds that we raise go to OceanWise and Sea Choice. So continue to, to support uh, OceanWise Seafood when you go to restaurants. Look for Sea Choice for logos, logos in grocery stores. Go to chefsforoceans.com and you can sign a petition. We're trying to create a national sustainable seafood day on March 18th. Ooh. And so we need as much support as we can get from across Canada. That was kind of the whole point of the journey was to raise a awareness to educate and try and create a, a national sustainable seafood day. An incredible team of people that helped us pull it off. And Thumbs up to you. Working. Accolades for, you know, we talk about riding the Fondo, we talk about those shorter journeys, and you ride across the country for sustainable seafood. Yeah, I'm going in. You know I am. It's a little take a break warm. and we're talking. Okay, I'm, I'll take it. I'll take it to home base with me. Okay. All right, here we go. It's hot. I know. It's, it's going to take a little off it's the side. It's tasty. But uh, it's we're talking hot. teachers after the break. Teachers. God bless them. God bless them.